coaches, the cheering of fans, the sounds of bodies getting slammed into wrestling mats. All are sounds that you would take for granted at a high school wrestling match. Now, imagine all of that happening and not hearing it. That's the impressive reality of one of Mid-Missouri's newest wrestling programs. KRCG 13's Ryan Smith has more on this story. Kermit, almost any high school athlete can remember a time he or she was yelled at by a coach. It's just something coaches do, and yelling can benefit an athlete hearing their coach yell instructions from the sideline. Now imagine if the only way a coach was able to communicate with players was through direct eye contact and sign language. That would be a lot tougher, but that's how it's done at the Missouri School for the Deaf. The Missouri School for the Deaf wrestling program is gearing up for its second season. The team is composed of just five wrestlers, but the small and mighty team is blazing the path for other deaf student athletes. And a good reminder to not let others tell you what you can and cannot do. They're great athletes to have on the team. They're always willing to learn new techniques, and I couldn't ask for a better group than this group that we have right here. Andrew Daly, athletic director and wrestling coach for the Missouri School for the Deaf, says there isn't any difference to how the matches are conducted, but it can be challenging in certain instances to get their athletes to stop since they can't hear the whistle. Daly, who is also deaf, says oftentimes referees will pat on their backs to get their attention to stop the match. My experience in public high schools, I was a wrestler there. It was a big a mainstream high school, a 4A team. And it was really hard because you had to have an interpreter and, you know, the interpreter wasn't really familiar with the techniques and it was really uh, difficult. I experienced that for two years and then I transferred to a deaf school and I had a deaf coach. He was just like me and he could explain it to me physically and in my language that was directly communicated to me. And I just had that aha moment. And I hope to have that same experience and moment with my students and athletes. Having the background of being a former wrestler himself, Daly says it is important for these kids to have an outlet like wrestling. I've always looked forward to wrestling practice when I was a student at a deaf school. You know, if you have a hard day, I, I was always looking, for, uh, looking forward to that practice where you just get it all out there on the mat, and that is a great way to do that. And I hope that they are having that same experience that I did as a youth. Trevor Lillard Morris, a sophomore on the Missouri School for the Deaf's wrestling team, talked about how he got involved with the program. He says both him and Coach Daly moved from the Texas School for the Deaf to the Missouri School for the Deaf. Soon after, Coach Daly started the wrestling program. I transferred here and there was no wrestling program and then he got a job here. And I have been a part of the program since he uh, established it. Morris also talked about what it means to be an inspiration to those watching him. My team to be a good team and helping each other is important and I, it is important to me that I'm a role model and others look up to me. I know that I always try my best and I always try to be positive. I don't give up and I think it's worth it to never give up. You know, if you're persistent and you never get, get up, give up, you may win. With the team entering in just its second year, Coach Daly says he hopes the team will encourage others to give the sport a shot. So technically we're not a full team, so it's hard to schedule matches with other schools because they want a full team to compete with. So trying to figure out, um, work with teams that are schools that don't have full teams, and, and that's been quite a challenge for me. And hopefully we have more students joining our team and that will mean more matches for us because the only way to improve their skill is to have a match. Daly says when he started the wrestling program, only two kids participated. This year the team has grown to five. Daly says he hopes to double that number at the beginning of next year's wrestling season. Still ahead, former 